In 2013, when my co-founder Amory Ames and I founded This Is My Brave, we never thought it would take off the way it did. But as she said in one of our original videos about the show, we're putting a, a pebble in the lake and it's gonna ripple out and um, have more people be able to hear the stories. And those ripples have turned into waves, one person and one story at a time. Since 2013, over 500 people have shared their stories on our stages across the U.S. and Australia. I am a son. I am a daughter. A father. An aunt. I am a mother. I am a sister. I am a friend. Join us as we bring true stories of overcoming mental illness to the stage. Poetry, original music, essay, and comedy. Yes, mental illness can be funny. I live with anxiety. Bipolar disorder. I have depression and panic disorder. I survived a suicide attempt. I have bipolar disorder. I'm battling PTSD. Our mental health conditions are nothing to be ashamed of. Through This Is My Brave, the audience members find a piece of themselves in the stories shared on stage. And we begin to normalize what it means to live with a mental health condition. Overcoming stigma live on stage. There's healing in revealing. My story matters, and so does yours. It's OK to talk about it. Come see us be brave. Because storytelling does save lives. My life began with the diagnosis. This is my brave means being part of a community and knowing I'm never alone. I hope the audience gets true inspiration and empowerment from the show. I want others with a mental illness to have hope. What I want the audience to know is that mental illness is real. It's not in our head. It's an everyday struggle. Because it's our vision that one day we'll live in a world where we don't have to call it brave for talking openly about mental illness. We'll simply call it talking.